This video will show you an example on file to string transformer in Mule ESB. It will also show you a practical implementation how it works step by step. So before moving to the example, we would like to know what is Mule ESB. Mule ESB is a lightweight Java based enterprise service bus and integration platform that allows developers to connect applications together quickly and easily, enabling them to exchange data. We would like to know also file to string transformer. What is that? So file to string element configures a transformer that reads the contents of java.io.file into a java.lang.string. Now we will create an example on file to string transformer. So for creating an example on file to string transformer, we need to have some pre prerequisites like uh, JDK, Maven, Mule Studio and Mule Server. So if you download Mule Studio, then Mule Server comes with the bundle. So you don't need to download it separately. You can download maven from www.maven.apache.org you can download mule from www.mule.mulesoft.org and you can download jdk from www.oracle.com now we will see how to create an example So open your Mule Studio and go to the file, the new, then click on Mule project. So once the pop-up window comes up, then you need to give some input fields. Give a project name, like we will give here file to string. Then we have to select runtime. We can select uh, Mule Server Community Edition for local. We can also select the Cloud Hub Mule runtime that is remote. We can select also Mule Server Enterprise Edition that is E. So we'll select here C that is Community Edition. Now we have to configure the mapping settings. So for that we need to give group id group id is like uh, domain name so i have a domain name here webtutes.in so i have given like in dot webtutes then we have to give artifacts id this artifact id is automatically populated when we give the project name here so we don't need to change this name we will accept the default you can also give your uh, as per your choice the version is also uh, populated you can also change this version but we will accept your default then click on next then use default location or whatever location you wish to use you can select here you can uncheck and you can browse here then select the location wherever you want to save the file or application so i'll accept the default location here then we will use the jerry that is a java runtime environment you can uh, use as per your choice there are several uh, jdk versions so i'm having uh, a jdk 1.6 so i'll use here java ic 1.6 now we don't have to select any other things here so we'll click on finish now once we click the finish button the project structures get created in the mule studio and also we got the default flow file that is file to string the name is same as the project name so you can also create another um, mule flow file if you need but we will work with the default mule file flow now if you want to create another mule flow file then you 
do right click on this plus then new then new flow you have to give name here whatever you type name here the file name gets automatically populated here with the extension m flow you can also give the optional description here okay so for the timing we'll cancel it and we will work with the default mule flow file so for file twisting transformer we have to use uh, different components from this right pane the required components or elements whatever you say so for this we have to drag and drop the elements from this right pane we just need to drag from here and drop this flow file now we will drag this file endpoint and drop it on the flow file so this uh, this file endpoint shows some uh, squared red mark so it means that there is a required field which need to be filled okay so before that we will rename this flow name so just edit this here and just rename it you see there are several uh, settings like initial state started stop so we will not uh, consider these things but we will just uh, keep it simple now we will click on this file endpoint and we will see what is the required field so record field is shown here using the red mark this element must have all attributes for on offsets either path or address or ref so we have to give path here or address or reference so path is the directory source directory from where the file will be read by mule so once the file is put into the directory mule will automatically read that file from that directory so there is polling frequency 1000 milliseconds so per 1000 milliseconds mule will poll that directory and if any file exists in that directory mule will read from that directory ok so I will select the path so you can select uh, any source directory where you want to put the file I will select the path new project then files then file to string because I will put a file in this directory and from this directory we will read that file so click on ok now we see there are no errors so record field is fulfilled now we will save this thing now we need to file to string transformer because we are going to show you an example of file to string transformer how to use that file to string transformer so for that we will drag the file to string transformer from right pane and drop it onto the mule flow so this is the file twisting transformer what is it? the file twisting transformer reads the contents of a java.io.file file into a java.lang.string so we will just drag and drop onto the pane so now the file twisting transformer is here and we see there is no required field but still we will see what are the properties for this so you see here there is no record field so it shows that there are no errors so display name is this you can change if you wish return class if you want to custom transformer then you can use custom class you can write custom class and you can use it here encoding there are several encoding as you see you can select any one of them if you wish otherwise it will take UTF-8 default okay you have also MIME type so what are the MIME type you know already the file type 
okay so there are def different or several file types how it should be you can use any one of them but we will not use here because we will accept the default okay so then save it now whatever file to string has got from its previous step or previous uh, step in the flow mm, we have to show that uh, thing in the console so for that you can also save it uh, to a file but i will show it here in the console so for that i will for that i will use components that is logger so we know what logger does actually logger just logs the uh, logs the message or uh, uh, errors or whatever information is there it logs into the console or we can also log that into the file so we'll just uh, log that info into the console here so here also we don't see any record field for that uh, logger okay <coughs> so display name is logger you can change as you wish message what message does if you click on this field and, and then you will get an eye icon if you hover on this eye icon you will get what it does actually okay you can also set the logger level as you know if you use in java application okay so info warn error debug trace so we will select it here info that is default you can also um, give the category what category does you know <coughs> so now we have uh, finished the flows for this uh, uh, file to string flow so first one is file endpoint which reads the file from a source directory then we have file to string transformer which transform file object into string then we will display the file string or file content into the console for that we have used logger so we need to show the file information or file content into the console for that we need to do something in the logger for that we will click on this logger and we will use mules built in el expression here so mule built in uh, el expression like we have message so for that we have several properties like payload or something like that we will see what are the properties but what is a message message is the data that passes through an application via one or more flows message contents two things one is header which contains metadata about message and another one is payload which contains business specific data so we'll use here el expression how to write that el expression so first we have to type hash then we have bracket then we get this message then we will type dot or period then we will get uh, we will get several properties so we will use here payload which will display our file content then we we'll close the bracket now we have to save everything so if if we go to the problem step we don't have any problems now everything is finished now we will run the application for that we will just uh, right click on the application and run as mule application or we can also right click on the flow file and we can run as mule application whatever way you can choose so click on this you will see several dependencies are there once the application runs then it's 
gives this message so mule has already read that file from the source directory if you see I will come to mule ESB test content for file to string transformer because I have already put that file in that source directory so that's all thank you